Today we will see the organic bases. Organic bases. In last lecture we seen uh, organic acids. Now in this lecture we are going to see uh, see the organic bases. As we know that the bases are electron pair donor. According to Lewis theory, the bases are the electron pair donor. So Lewis Lewis base. According to Lewis base, electron pair donor called Lewis base. Okay, and Lewis acid. Once again, we will revise what is Lewis acid. So electron pair, electron pair acceptor, acceptor called Lewis acid. Okay. So uh, uh, for to, to study the organic bases, uh, let's take an example of organic base or any base which have a lone pair of electrons. So let's take general reaction when these species which having an electron pair is reacted with the H plus ion which is donates its lone pair to the H plus. So this is called Lewis base. And this is called as Lewis acid. This is a reversible reaction that is having an equilibrium. So when this base gives its lone pair to the H plus ion, there is formation of conjugate acid. Conjugate acid. Conjugate acid. So this be having a plus charge because it is an electron deficient specialism because it gives its electron to the H plus ion so getting a positive charge so it is called as conjugate acids so this strength uh, now our point is that how to find out the strength of this base so there are uh, five different factors which affect the strength of base or which decide the strength of base so let's see one by one so first is availability of Availability of electron pair. So first factor is availability of electron pair. As we know that the bases are the electron pair donor, so the electron pair is very important in this case. So how much electron pair is available for the donation on this B, which decides the strength of this base. As electron pair availability is more the stronger is the base, uh, stronger is the base. Or uh, less availability of electron pair means the base is a uh, weak one okay so uh, we can say that in other words availability of electron pair is directly proportional to strength of base that is sb means strength of base if availability of electron pair is increases strength of base also increases okay uh, from this we can also uh, say that uh, charge species are stronger charge charge species are very stronger base than its neutral atom neutral atom or group neutral atom or group for example OH minus is very stronger base than H2 so H2 is neutral one and the OH minus is a charge species this O minus OH minus is a stronger base than its neutral atom or its neutral molecule H2O because this uh, this negative charge can be easily available for donation easily available for donation so this is a stronger base than its neutral molecule so that is availability of electron pair decides the strength of base second factor
सेकंड फैक्टर इज इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी ऑफ बी वी कंसीडर दैट बेस बी ओके सो वी हैव टू कंसीडर whenever we are going to uh, consider or uh, determine the strength of base we have to see the electronegativity of b b may be a, a single atom or may be a group of atoms so electronegativity is also very important in in this case so as the electronegativity increases the tendency of donation of electron pair decreases is inversely relation here so whenever electronegativity of b increases its tendency to donate the electron pair is decreases okay so we can conclude electro electro negativity of b is inversely proportional to strength of base strength of base that is as the electronegativity increases as the electronegativity of b increases the strength of base decreases so we can uh, have example for example NH three is stronger base than H two. NH three is a stronger base than H two. This is the reason behind this is that the lone pair is available on nitrogen here. In in, in case of NH three, in case of H two, lone pair is available on H two. So called oxygen. Okay. So. Uh, nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen so that's why the uh, its uh, so h2 gives its lone pair very weakly or decrease uh, tendency to donate the electron pair is in case of h2 is decreases as the electronegativity of oxygen increases so nh3 is a stronger base than h2 because nh3 in in, in case of nh3 nitrogen having lone pair it gives electron pair easily to the H plus or any acidic bases. Okay, so NH three is a stronger base than H two. The third point is Third factor is structural effect in B. Structural effect in B. So, what are the structural effect? Resonance effect, inductive effect, hyperconjugation, tautomerism, hydrogen bonding. These are the structural effects. So that decides uh, that also decides the strength of base. Uh, so. Uh, we know that there are two types of generally uh, structural effects donating and withdrawing so if there are donating uh, donating structural effects which increases the ability of lone pair on this b and hence it directly increases the strength of base and vice versa if the there is a withdrawing effect which decreases the electron pair ability on b that is decreases the strength of base okay if there are minus i and minus r effect on b then basicity decreases basicity decreases okay Second conclusion: If there are plus i and plus r effect on B, then basicity basicity increases increases. Okay, let's see once again. If there are minus i and minus r effects on the b, on the b, 
then basis it decreases this is because ability of electron pair on b is decreases which withdraw by the minus r and minus r effect on, on that group on the other hand if there are there are plus i and plus r effect on b then the basicity increases this is due because it increases electron density on b and hence it can be uh, available for the donation easily and that is why the basicity also increases fourth point let's have fourth point or four factor four factor four factor stability of stability of conjugate acid conjugate acid as we know that when b gives its lone pair to the h plus ion there is formation of species called as conjugate acid this is a base this formation of conjugate acid if this conjugate acid is stabilized then you can say that this is based stronger more is the st stability of this conjugate acid more is the stronger base or less is the stability of conjugate acid less stable less is the st uh, uh, stronger base okay so uh, stability of conjugate acid directly proportional to strength of base so for the stability purpose we know that if there are if there are donating groups on this conjugate acid then the stability of conjugate acid increases so if the stability of conjugate acid increases the strength of base also increases so fifth point or fifth factor one So fifth factor is nature of solvent. Nature of solvent. As we know that after the protonation of base, there is formation of conjugate acids. This conjugate acids is soluted due to the polar solvent and get stabilized. And if this stability, if stability increases, the strength of base also increases. So uh, in polar solvent. In polar solvent, conjugate acid gets more solvated, more solvated, and becomes more stronger. more stronger basis that is if the polarity of the solvent increases stability or strength of base increases that is polarity 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 of solvent is directly proportional to strength of base if the polarity of the solvent increases strength of base increases because the conjugate acid form is get more solvated due to the polar solvent okay these are the five factors which affect the strength of any base let's see oh, again which are those first factor is ability of electron pair on b second factor is electron density of b and third one is structural effect on B and fourth one is stability of conjugate acid and fifth one is the nature of solvent these five factors affect the strength of base or determine the strength of 
Beijo.